Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwell, and with me today we have Tristan Walker and John Lewandowski. Hey. Um, how are you gentlemen doing today? Pretty Sorry. good. All righty. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585. Halloween's right around the corner. You can get your hockey costume on at Hockey Locker. Also, Christmas is coming right around the corner as well. You can get your loved ones some Christmas hockey gear for Christmas right there at Hockey Locker. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you from the folks at Hockey Locker for sponsoring us. You can also pick up this nice Hockey Locker Under Armour t-shirt. It, it goes, it is a nice workout shirt. I use it every day to work out. I have three of them, so no, I don't wear the same one over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> But we all have fun here. So today the Preds took on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa Bay, well, they won back-to-back -back cups. Well, it is only preseason. Um, well, the Preds only played half their main roster. Um, shots of the first, or shots in total were 31 to 24 Nashville. Um, Yikes. Nashville in the face-off department, 64 to 37 percent wise um i'm not too worried about that in the beginning because well first off um to my recollection the only centers that the preds played that actually take face offs are johansson and duchene and i believe they were on the same lineup so it's fine so that doesn't really uh, yeah duchene didn't even take a face off uh johansson was at 58 percent Richard was at 33, Trenton was at 100, McCarron was at 29, Novak was at 14, and Richard was at 33. Um, so nothing to be too upset about there, but right. uh, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on from here. Uh, power play, Preds had two power play opportunities, came, uh, cashed in on zero, but we'll get into why that was unnecessary in the first place later on. Uh, the Lightning were one for seven. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. You had a, they would have had a chance had they converted on a couple more. Um, uh, you know, but like I said, I'll get into that more in the game. Uh, uh, penalty minutes, the Preds had 21. Uh, Lightning had 11. Um, that's more common when you have more physical style play. For your If your team plays a more physical game, they're going to get more penalties. Right. Oh, yeah. Just happens. Sadly, um, but it's true. Um, the Lightning had 31 hits to the Preds 21. 31 hits in the game is a lot of a lot of hits. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, block shots. The Preds led that with eight to four. Giveaways were two apiece. So it was a very clean as far as passing game goes. Oh yeah. They, they didn't really turn the puck over much. All righty. Scoring in the first, you had Matt Duchesne with his first of the part of that playoffs. <laughs> preseason. Pre first of the preseason with an assist from Ben Harper and Bill Forsberg. Um, that was at the 338 mark. Um, nice play. I didn't get to see. I only saw the replay. I didn't, it, it, it happened so quickly. And they switched because I was making chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Uh, then scoring in the first was Anthony Sorelli. Sorelli picking up where he left off at the postseason, where he had uh, three goals just in the Cup Series alone. He had his first of the preseason with an assist from Steven Stamkos and Ryan, former Badger McDonough. Ooh. Um, that was on the power play at the 16-27 mark. Yeah. So that knotted the game all up. But that being said, I was not like at that point. I was just like, okay, it's going to be one of seesaw games. And right. then at the nineteen thirty one mark, Philip Forsberg got on the marker with a nice pass from Ryan Johansson, yep. which was all set up by Ben Harper with his second assist of the preseason. Yeah. Let's just say that there's a guy in the second period who's really, really good at playing hockey. <laughs> yeah. um, 
and that is Igor Afanasyev. He has consistently proven that he is good enough to make the roster so yeah, far yeah. out of camp, scoring his second goal of the preseason with an assist from Ferentz and Pitlick at the 9, 28 mark of the second, then scoring not only, not just a minute later, scoring his third was Igor Afanasyev with an assist from Anthony Richard, his second of the preseason, with an assist from Tommy Novak. Hmm. Then in the third, in the third, we had Phil Forsberg with his second with an assist from Alexander Kaye and Matthew Olivier at the 307 mark. Yikes. This this game just got way out of hand way too quickly. It did. Then <laughs> at the 825 mark of the third, you had Thomas Novak or Tommy Novak, depending on um, how you know him. We all right. know him as Tommy. Um, that was his first of the preseason with an assist from Afanasiev, head trending. Uh, Afanasiev's first assist, uh, he had three goals and one assist. So four points yeah. in what, two, two games? Yeah. And then an assist by Trenton, his second. So he's has, he had, so Trenton today had an assist, two shots on goal, four hits, and went perfect on the faceoff. Good night. That's a really good night. A shot to the shots per period. I just want to like kind of like lean into that a little bit. Uh, first period were eight to four. Uh, the second period was eleven to eight, and third period they knotted them up at twelve apiece. Um, so given that, um, only one guy on the whole roster for the Preds had a minus, and that was Matt Luff. Mm. Had three shots on goal, no hits. Had eleven minutes, almost eleven minutes, fifty-four seconds of time on ice. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the, the only guy with minuses in net for the Preds to start the game was David Riddich, former Calgary Flame, former Toronto Maple Leaf, also was a roommate of former Milwaukee Admiral goaltender Marek Mazinik. So Maz, well, Maz's former roommate. Um, he stopped six of seven, uh, only allowing the power play goal um, with a .85 seven same percentage but when you only face seven shots your same percentage if you let one in isn't going to be that great right so what it is he did wonderful he did <laughs> um then in that was connor ingram ingram stopped 16 of 17 uh 13 of 14 even strength three of three on the power play um with a 0. 0.941 save percentage solid ingram. game from him it nice. was a solid game Solid game all around. Yeah. All righty. So on to the to the um, lightning. Uh, sorry, lightning. Uh, you know I have this thing called a crap list. I'm just gonna shoot the laundry list here. All right. Uh, Taylor Radish minus two. Alex Killorn minus two. Charles Hodon minus two. Anthony Sorelli, you had a goal and still were a minus three. Yes. <laughs> Sam Cox, you had assisted was still a minus three. Uh, Zach Bogosian, you were a minus four. Good thing you're only in a professional trial contract. They won't be keeping you around. Oh, wow. Um, Ryan McDonough, minus two with an assist, so it would have been a minus three had he not got that. Uh, Frederick Cla Cla Cleason, Frederick Cleason. He had a goal with a minus two, so it would have been a minus three had he knocked out the goal. In net for the Tampa Bay Lightning was former Milwaukee, well, former Milwaukee, former Wisconsin Badger Bill Elliott. Bill Elliott stopped 10 of 13, even strength of 101 on the power play, stopping 11 of 14 overall with a 0.786 save percentage. He had 29 minutes, 28 seconds of time on ice. Um, then we had, I'm trying to remember how to say this, Amir Miftikov. He stopped at 14 of 17, um, no 
power play shots, no shorthanded shots. So that was his overall statistics. He stopped uh, with the same percentage of 0.824. Mm. Um, referees was Francis St. Laurent and uh, Berman South. Um, uh, Steve Barton and Killian McNamara were your linesmen head coach for Nationals. John Hines, head coach for Tampa Bay, is John Cooper. Scratches, I'm not going to get into. <laughs> Let's just stop <laughs> till regular season hits. Right. Um, currently around the league in other news, uh, the uh, Boston Bruins beat the Phillies 4-2. to two. T- uh, Buffalo is currently losing to Detroit 6-2. to two. And Minnesota and Colorado are currently tied at two apiece at the end of the first. Uh, games left to play are San Jose and Anaheim and Vancouver, Vegas and L.A. Uh, three stars of the game were... Uh, Third star of the game was Tommy Novak with a goal and an assist. Uh, second star of the game was Phil Forsberg with two goals and an assist. And third star of the game was Igor Afanasiev, two goals and one assist. Plus, he had three hits. Oh, wow. As well. Um, Novak had no hits. Forsberg had one. Um, Afanasi have also had two penalty minutes. Um, on my craft list tonight, I guess I could say for the Preds was Nicholas Porco. Uh, he had seven penalty minutes all by himself, but his redeeming quality was he was 100 on the faceoff. So, I mean, it doesn't equal each other out with only other right. guys, but you'd probably have more had you stayed out of the box. Um, right, pretty much. Another good showing by okay. So another good showing by the Preds in the preseason. Yeah. For all they've had like some good ones, and then they've had a real stinker, which was that first game. Right. Mm-hmm. Um otherwise they've had a good showing mostly overall. Uh, we are looking heavily forward to what they do consistently soon. Um, as you all know, the Admirals have uh, put in the ice. Tomorrow brings in October. October? Are you ready for hockey yet? October, yeah. month, month of hockey. Um, I would like to thank our friend Tercel for being here. Um, yeah. John, while you're having your medical uh, procedure done, uh, Tercel will be filling in for that time period. Yeah, so thank, thank you for that. You're welcome. I will see you, uh, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, John, <laughs> I'll probably talk to you bright and early tomorrow because we have our morning meetings. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, we'll see each other then. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, Hockey Locker Milwaukee. Our Hockey Locker. You can visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Anywhere you guys can think of social media at this current moment that's not politically charged, you will find us. All right. Have a safe night.